Hi everyone, I'm Olivia Lei, and I'm currently a junior studying computer science at Tenzin. Today I'm going to talk about deep learning based facade inspections. So today I will go over four tables of contents. The first part will be project design, which is the description of our project. The second one will be methodology, which I will discuss what we do to achieve our goal. And the third one is the technologies that we use. And the fourth one is the potential impact of our project. So for our project design, our project focuses on a computer vision-based approach for automated facade inspections using synthetic potent point data. Facade inspections are necessary for the maintenance of buildings as well as for ensuring public safety. In current practice, facade inspections are mainly conducted visually and manually, which results in costly, labor-intensive, and time-consuming processes. Besides, the results are based on inspectors' personal experiences, and they need a high level of experiences and domain knowledge. Yet, they are inadequate for eliminating all the safety issues, and they face accidents like all humans do. Therefore, there is a need for an automated method for inspections and condition evaluation. We will use deep learning for our um, automation processes. As for the methods that we use in this research, we focus on surface deformations on facades that require 3D geometry based analysis. In this regard, we use point count data to generate synthetic facade defects that will later be used for 3D deep learning and computer vision applications to identify defect types. A point cloud is a, a collection of an enormous number of measurements, a set of data points for coordinates in three dimensions. And point clouds are most co commonly generated using 3D laser scanners and light detection and ranging technologies. Point cloud data point cloud and data sets that represent objects or space. We use point clouds in order to represent our 3D scan data and use the point clouds for deep learning. So the two softwares that we use the most is Blender and Open3D. And these two images are examples of what we're working on right now for our project. So we use Open3D and Blender to create the effects on facades. Um, Open3D is used for development on software that uses 3D data, like our project, which uses 3D data of facades. And Blender is a computer graphic software that, use, that we use to create 3D models. So instead of um, working on what's already have like point clouds, we use Blender to create our own um, models of 3D. And we use point count data point cloud blender to create more examples of defected facades in order to let the machine learning algorithm in the future to train on this data. We use coding with Open3D and booting functions on Blender to create this data. So as for our potential impact, we will be able to have automatic process of detecting facade defections instead of the current approach which only uses physical method of examination and the current method requires a lot on the experiences for the workers. By having that, we can protect, protect the safety of the people better by ensuring the efficiency of facade inspections. We can take actions, we can take actions on buildings that have bad conditions quicker. We can also increase the efficiency by not requiring the workers to have so much experiences of facade inspections. Since the facade inspections nowadays require physical checks by experienced workers with no requirements on that, we do not have limits on the number of workers. By not having a limit on number of workers, we can recruit better and we can increase our efficiency. For the near future, we aim to overcome the problems caused by the deficiency of 3D data sets that include service deformations. Thank you so much for your time.